Hi guys, Take James here. In this video, I'm just going to be doing an updated tutorial on how to update any PSP to official firmware 6.61. So the PSP I've got right here is actually on 6.60 and I want to update it to 6.61 so I can install the Infinity custom firmware. So on your PSP, what you want to do is you just want to check to see what firmware, firmware you're on. So go into your system settings and then scroll down to system information. As you can see, it says software system software version 6.60. So that's great. That will update to 6.61 fine. So on your PSP, is it if it does say system software version 6.61 Pro or 6.60 LME, then you will need to use Chrono Switch Downgrader to remove that custom firmware. When you want to update to official 6.61, make sure your PSP, it can be any firmware at all, just make sure it isn't custom. So what you want to do is connect your PSP to your PC, just go up to the USB connection, select that, now you can plug in your PSP to your PC using the uh, micro USB cable. Right guys, so now I'm on my PC and I, there are two links in the description. Um, you just want to go to the first one. So the first link here is actually the official Sony website for the PSP system software update. So this has actually changed since I made the last tutorial, which is kind of strange. And they've actually removed the PSP Go 6.61 firmware. So I'm not sure why they've removed that. Um, the only firmware on here is just for the normal PSP. Unless they've combined both together, but I doubt it. I think that would be impossible. So you want to go to this link up here instead. Um, this is just my zip file. I've contained the PSP Go um, 6.61 update and the any other PSP 6.61 update. So you want to hit download, just download the whole zip file. Right guys, so once the download's done, you just want to go into your downloads folder. Here's the file guys, you just want to right click and then do extract here. Alright, so just come up with this file folder, just double click to open it, and there are two files here. This is for PSP Go only, and this is for every PSP, PSP 1000, 2000, 3000, and then PSP Street, you get the idea. So my PSP is a PS3, PSP 1002 I think, so I'm just going to take this file. Um, as you can see the update folder is inside the update folder. So you just want to copy the whole update folder onto your game folder on the PSP. So it's roughly about 30 megabytes so pretty much any PSP memory card should be able to hold it. Right guys so once that file's just copied over you just want to disconnect your PSP from your computer and I'll show you guys how to update. Right guys so back on my PSP once you have the file copied across you want to scroll across to your game section scroll down to your memory stick just press X to open it. Okay so now you want to look for the update here it is PSP update version 6.61 so once you know your PSP is fully compatible to update you just want to press X on that. Okay, so it might take a few seconds, but eventually it will come up with this screen saying PSP system software version 6.61. So you want to press X to start the update. Then it's just going to give you some um, license agreements. You can just agree by pressing the D-pad button to all of these. So make sure your PSP is fully charged before doing this because you wouldn't want it to run out during the process. Um, it doesn't take too long, I'd say it takes a few minutes and I'll see you guys when it's finished. Okay guys, so the update is now completed, it didn't take too long, it took about 2-3 minutes. So you just want to press the X button to restart your PSP. It also says now you can delete the update data from your memory stick, so that's cool. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. As you can see, the theme and everything is still installed on my PSP and all of my um, games and data are here. So let's just scroll across to the About section so we can see the system software. So here goes system information. As you can see, system version 6.61. So we're now on the latest firmware. So that's pretty much it for this video. 
This was for anyone that didn't know how to update because my old tutorial was a bit out of date. Um, so if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.